So what is exposure? As you can see here, exposure is the contact with a substance or change in the physical environment. While changes in physical environment occur, we can hardly control them, at least not worldwide. If it's cold outside, you better bundle up and prepare for the cold. Can't quite change the weather. As you play on the beach, you are exposed to substances in water. You're exposed to water, you're exposed to UV radiation from the sun, you're exposed to any toxins in the air, which you could, could be emitted from power plants far away. However, it's important to note that exposure doesn't always result in dose. There are many types of exposure. And for humans, it's really oral exposure, inhalation exposure, dermal exposure, and parenteral exposure. So if you're exposed to soil that you can either ingest or touch with your skin, you measure the concentration of substance in milligrams of substance per kilogram of soil. Or if you're talking about indoor air pollution or outdoor air pollution, you measure the concentration of carbon monoxide in ppm or milligrams per meter cube. And those are standard units. Usually they can be helpful. Some substances will be absorbed to the skin and some won't. Some substances will, be, will get into your digestive tract and some won't. Therefore, the root of exposure is very important. Parenteral exposure is a specific case because it um, bypasses your natural defense mechanisms such as skin, lungs, um, digestive tract, and injects the substance directly into your bloodstream, therefore makes it, making it available to your body faster. Just because there is exposure, it doesn't mean there is a dose. Dose is the amount of substance administered at one time. And this is what people refer to as the administered dose. As you can see here, oral exposure corresponds to a certain form of dose. Parental exposure is, this corresponds to a certain kind of dose. And inhalation exposure is, corresponds to a certain kind of dose. But those ratios aren't always the same. And when you do have a dose, people generally measure doses, milligrams of a substance per kilogram of body weight per day of exposure. As you can see, you have water, sugar, salt, coffee, whiskey can be poisonous if the dose is high enough. Even spinach can be poisonous if you eat 15 pounds of it. In addition to the basic amount of substance that is administered into the body, other parameters influence the dose. For example, number of doses, frequency of administration, uh, duration of contact with substance in the environment, inhalation, ingestion, or absorption rates, as well as the body weight. It's pretty obvious that if you increase the number of doses or the frequency, frequency of exposure or amount of substance in the environment or inhalation rate, then the amount of substance in the body will likely increase as well. 